To get started with Song of Solomon, let me try to direct your thinking. Don't think of this as physical love between husband and wife. We're going to think of this as the love between Christ and his bride, and Christ and each of us individually as his beloved one. The book begins with the line, Let him kiss me with the kisses of his mouth. What are the kisses of the mouth of Christ? Psalm 104, 34 says, May my meditation be sweet to him. I will be glad in the Lord. Our meditation is putting his words on our lips. It's speaking his words, even muttering them to ourselves. We can be Jesus' sweet lips, if you'll allow the expression, when we have his words on our lips. His kisses are his words to us. He speaks to us his love, like in Jeremiah 31, 3, where he says, I've loved you with an everlasting love, and then continues to say, Therefore I have drawn you. He draws us near. Let's look again at the beginning of chapter 1. Verse 4 says, Draw me after you, and the king has brought me into his chambers. That's close. That's intimate. Listen to this from Psalm 65, 4. Blessed is the one you choose and bring near to dwell in your courts. We will be satisfied with the goodness of your house. And what about Psalm 36, 8, where it says, You give them drink from the river of your delights. He brings us near. He gives us pleasure, delight. You'll have to figure out between you and Jesus what your love relationship with him looks like. Because it's a relationship, it's between people. It's between you and him. Because you are unique, your relationship with Jesus will be unique. Everyone's relationship with Jesus is unique in some way because each individual is unique. Now, the Lord will be the same to all. He will speak words of scripture and scriptural truth. He won't act out of character. But the way you interact with each other will be different because what's important to each of us is different. And he knows each of us personally.